Okay, so today we're going to be doing an instructional video on how to make a uh, puppy. It looks like this. It looks like a little Westie sitting down uh, using the rainbow loom. Um, what you need to do this project. You need your rainbow loom. This one's pretty much the way it comes out of the box. Uh, if you point the arrows toward your stomach, you've got the center sections a little higher than the side sections. Um, that's just kind of how it is. You could pull the center section off and drop it down a little bit. Um, and for the design we're doing, we're actually not going to use this peg on the top. Um, so you could have the center section down, that'd be fine. Uh, in this case, we're just not going to use it. So uh, kind of pay attention to that. So you got your loom, you got your pick. You're going to need a couple hundred white rubber bands. Probably won't use that many. You're going to need a couple, uh, at least two red rubber bands, two pink rubber bands, and three black rubber bands. Um, having extras around just in case something breaks not a bad idea and then of course a c-clip um, as we're doing the instructional video there's gonna be a couple points where I will say um, you should you can pause the video compare your work to what you see here um, I'm gonna wait a second or two and then I'm gonna proceed with the instruction uh, during that second or two uh, pause the video compare and um, make sure you've got things looking pretty close to the same um, just really important as we're doing the project Take your time, be patient with yourself. There's some parts that are a little tricky, um, and so be patient. Take your time, and you uh, you you can do this, and it's gonna look it's gonna look amazing. So starting off, we're gonna do the head. I'm gonna put the base and do everything for the base for the head, and then we're gonna pause, and then we're gonna show you how to put the the facial features, the ears, the nose, um, the eyes on there, and then um, we'll explain what we're gonna do for the mouth as we go. Uh, for the base, we're going to use the color, that, the primary color of the fur for this Westie. It's going to be white. Um, we're going to lay this down. As I'm doing this, most of the time I'm going to be using two rubber bands as I'm laying, connecting rubber bands between each of the pegs. So uh, two rubber bands is going to give a little thicker look, uh, a little curlier look for, the, for this Westie. So we're going to take two rubber bands, and we're going to start off by looping them from the, the corner pegs down to the center peg. This is going to be the the top of the head of the, of the puppy. Uh, I'm not using this top peg, so um, you don't want to connect anything to that. You just want to go from these corner pegs down to the second peg in. And then from there, again, two rubber bands for each section. We're going to do four sections down the sides and four sections down the center. So two rubber bands on each of those, uh, straight down, okay? Working from top to bottom. You want to work towards your stomach. So the direction the arrows are pointing. One section, two sections, three sections, and four, center. Um, as I'm doing this video, it's going to be in real time. I'm not going to speed anything up. Uh, that, that'll be good for you to see what I'm doing. Um, also, you can follow along working with me as I'm talking, as you're watching the video. I'll try not to go too fast, um, but it's a video so you can pause it if you need to, uh, rewind it, uh, whatever you need to, to uh, get the instruction you need. So, keep working the center section here. Yeah. So, that's four sections down. One, two, three, four from this, from this first center bag we used. Sides, not the left side. One, two, three, and four. Now, so we've got um, rubber bands from these top corners to the center. And then we did four sections down the sides and four sections down the center. Now we're going to add a couple rubber bands for the jawline, which are going to be from these uh, two pegs here to the center peg. So again, two rubber bands for each section from the side to the center. Two rubber bands. So that's a, that'll be the jawline for the puppy. So uh, now we are going to put some uh, cross rubber bands. We're going to take some rubber bands and put the sections going across here. 
and then um, and then we'll pause. But so this first section, I'm going to put a rubber band. It's a single rubber band. I'm not going to do anything special with it. Just kind of loop it on there, normal. Uh, the bottom two sections, what I'm going to do is take a rubber band and I'm going to loop them over on themselves so it'll be a little tighter and uh, put them across. What that's going to do by looping those like that is it's going to give the shape of the head a little bit shape, uh, sort of a triangular shape, looser at the top and getting tighter as it goes down towards the jaw. So got those guys in there. Uh, this might be a good second for you uh, to pause the video and compare what you have to what you see here. Okay, now moving ahead, what we're going to do are add our uh, facial feature elements, the ears, the eyes, um, and the nose. We're not going to put the mouth part portion in yet. That actually happens as we're looping the entire, um, the entire thing together. So making the ears. What we're going to do to make the ears, we're going to start with a white rubber band um, or whatever color you're using for your fur. We're going to loop it around the hook. I'm going to do four times around the hook. And then I'm going to take uh, two more white rubber bands and hook them to the hook. And then pull this one off of the shaft of the hook onto the rubber band. So it's going to look like this. You can see that there. Before I go any further, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pink rubber band and I'm going to loop it around this also four times. And then I'm going to take these two loops that are down here, the extra loops, and put them over the hook. So it should look like that. Like a little ear with a you know, pink section in the center. So we'll do. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this onto our rubber band, the, these top rubber bands coming down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the hook from underneath, I'm going to hook this top rubber band and pull it up off the top. And then holding a rain balloon so it doesn't slingshot across the room, I'm going to slowly pull these guys down. Kind of got to pinch them and pick them up over the end of the hook there. Otherwise they can get hooked up around there and it can get confusing as to which hook, which rubber bands you need to hold on to and which you don't. I'm going to put this back on the top and we will have our ear, our first ear, on our uh, rubber band up here. And this is the first uh, rubber band going from the peg down. Do that for the other side. Again, one rubber band, white rubber band. Loop it around four times. Then we're gonna grab two white rubber bands, hook them on there, and pull this guy up and onto those two guys, and then take a pink rubber band, wrap it around this guy four times, put those loops over that, got our little, our little ear now, you can see that, and then we're going to uh, do the same thing on the other side, hook that top section of rubber bands, pull it off that peg, and then pull these guys up and over. onto the rubber band. Um, as you're doing this, you just take your time. Don't get in a rush. Um, be patient with yourself and, uh, and you'll get it on, you'll get it you'll get it done right. So. so there we go, we got our two ears on there. Alright, next for the eyes. For the eyes, we're going to grab a couple of black rubber bands. And loop them around the shaft of this. So put that on there four times. Do this one also four times. Some little black eyes of the Westy. And then I'm also going to take a white rubber band and put it on here and just loop it around twice. What that's going to do when I, um, at the very end here, uh, when we do the, the final uh, loop it all together. It's going to make those two white rubber bands sort of sit in front of the eyes like that a little bit. If you've ever been around a Westie, uh, you can, they always get that fur coming down right in front of their eyes. So that's going to kind of uh, make that look like. So take those two guys and we're going to take this horizontal rubber band that we put in here. We're going to hook that guy 
slide these down on there. Like I said, be patient with yourself as you're doing this. Um, when you're sliding these rubber bands on, you will, uh, it's going to happen. You're going to have some, the rubber band you're hooking on there is going to slip off or something crazy is going to happen. Just be patient. Um, something comes apart, put it back together, back up, start over. No big deal. Take those guys off. Put the black rubber band. Just wanting to mess up like a crazy. Alright. Some black one. Push the white one up on here. And then get this other black one. Push him up on that rubber band and then uh, put it back on that peg. And then I want to separate these black rubber bands. Um, one will go over here to the right and one to the left. And then this white rubber band is going to kind of be in the center of the two black rubber bands, positioning wise. Got that there. And then what I want to do is get this. this rubber band going across the center. I just want to get the bottom section of it and move it over that peg. And what you should have is a black rubber band on on, um, on the left side here and a black rubber band on the right and then this white rubber band that was looped over twice kind of splitting either side there. So, got that. Take a moment if you want to pause and compare. Alright, next we're going to do the nose. So for making the nose, we're going to start with a black rubber band. I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to loop it around the hook. I'm going to do it four times. You can do three times. If you want, it'll be a little easier to slide it on and off the rubber bands. I do four because it, it just, um, it gets it tighter together and looks a little more like a, a nose. But um, then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take two white rubber bands and I'm going to hook them and slide the black up on there. And once it's on, I'm going to loop the, the other end of the white rubber bands on there. So I've got uh, it looped on there like this. Then I'm going to take two more <laughs> rubber bands, hook them on there, and loop the uh, white loops down on to these two new white rubber bands. Loop those guys around and got something that's going to look like a little nose when it's all said and done. You can see that, so it shouldn't look like that. Can't tell the autofocus is working. Hopefully you can see that really well. All right, then we're going to, from the eyes, we're going to skip one section, one horizontal section here, and go to the, uh, the next one. So this will be, if this is one, the eyes are on two, we're going to skip three and go down to the fourth horizontal section. It's a section just above the, the jawline. And we are going to uh, hook that set of rubber bands Pull it up and then slide the nose down on there carefully. Now these rubber bands are uh, this or this rubber band here, this horizontal rubber band, is one of the two that we doubled on itself. So it's gonna be a little tighter when you pull that off. Just kind of be aware of that. Once we've done that, I'm gonna grab the nose, pull it up a little bit, and I'm going to grab this bottom half of that horizontal rubber band and hook it back over the center peg. So it should look like that. So you got the uh, ears, the eyes, and uh, the nose. And now we're going to do the neck. So the neck for the neck, we're going to use three white rubber bands. Three, three right, white rubber bands, or whatever color you're using for your fur for your dog. I'm going to go from the center peg straight down. That's the bare neck. So. Um, I'm going to pause for a second and give you a second to pause the video and compare your work to what you see here. All right, moving ahead. So we are going to start the body section of this puppy. Uh, we're going to do this some shoulders and then the body and then um, let you take a look at that and compare your work. And then I'll show you how to make the legs and how to attach the legs for the puppy to this particular design. 
right, so shoulders again. Each of these sections, as we attach rubber bands, we're going to be putting two rubber bands on. So the shoulders will go from the center peg down to either side, like that. Those are the shoulders. And then we're going to do the torso of the, the body. On the sides, we're going to do three sections, two rubber bands per section on the sides. And then, so we got three sections on the sides. And down the center, we're gonna do four sections, starting up where the neck came down. So that's one, two, this is a long stretched out rubber band. It's got, okay, those are some line size. Three, and four. So we got our four sections there. And then we're going to take rubber bands. Let me use this guy that's stretched out. We take a couple rubber bands and we're going to loop them over on themselves. And just like we did for the, the bottom section of the face, and we're going to run those guys across the pegs. Um, keeping it the, the top, it's going to be a triangle shape like this. On the face, the triangle is facing the other way. Um, down here, we get to where it's, it's, they're just facing opposite directions. So just be aware of that. Um, do that one more time here for this next section. And because we're doubling them over, they're tight. Uh, just kind of be patient, um, be careful, uh, hold your loom as you're pulling on these rubber bands so it doesn't go slingshotting across the room and hurt anybody. So, um, you got that. We are going to add one more section, uh, doing the same thing, looping it over. But before we do that, we need to add the legs. Um, if you've done the action figures, uh, the, the legs are going to look very similar to the way we do the action figure arms and legs, except instead of attaching them to the pegs, we're going to actually attach them to the rubber bands. Uh, but let me show you how to make some. Let's go on and show you how to make some legs. Or actually, let's take a second here and let you compare your work to what you see. Okay, now, um, now we're, we're going to make some legs. So to make the legs, we're going to take the uh, color of uh, the fur that we want to use, or whatever color you want to start with. And we're going to loop it over the hook three times. But they're not going to go as tight on these ones, so three times. And then uh, we're going to grab a couple rubber bands, two, and hook them onto the hook and pull that up over. And then, then slide the loops onto each other. So basically we're going to be doing the same process we did for the nose, except we're not going to start with a black one on the end. Um, for this particular design, we're going to start with the same color that we're using for the fur. And we're going to do this seven, we're going to have seven sections, uh, including the first one we wrapped around the, the, the hook. So that'd be one, two, this is going to be our third section we're putting on. So three. Four. Let me move this out of the way. You might be able to see that a little better against that red background. Five. Six. Seven sections there for this leg. Bring my limb back in here. Um, I'm doing, and we're going to repeat this four times basically, except I'm going to do two with seven sections and then two legs with only five sections. Um, the, section, the legs with seven sections I'm going to put up close to the shoulders. Um, those will be the front legs, and then the two with the five sections are going to go as the hind legs. What this is going to allow us to do is to pose the puppy in the position you saw in the picture earlier with the, the kind of sitting. So putting the front legs on, the way this works is you find these rubber bands where the sh shoulders come down, the first on either side going straight down. You're going to hook those guys and pull them off the top of the loom 
and then pull the legs up over those rubber bands and then hook, hook it back to that peg. Um, doing the, attaching the legs like this allows you to uh, position them, rotate them up uh, like that or sideways if you want. Uh, which is, we want them to be able to face out this way when we're done, so it's going to look more like a puppy or like a dog's legs. So we got one front leg, uh, and then we're going to do another front leg, three around, grab some, some uh, rubber bands, put them on there, uh, that's two sections. And just like the other one that we just did a second ago, we're going to do seven sections for this other front leg. Four, five, six. three, four, five, six, seven sections, same length as this leg. And uh, we're going to do the same thing, just on the opposite side, grab that first rubber band going down from the shoulder on the side. I'm gonna pull it off the top um, of the noom, which it would be facing this way normally. Pull it off and then slide the, uh, the legs down on there, or the leg down on there, and then reattach that rubber band. So, put this back and so you can see we got two front legs attached to the rubber bands. Now we're going to do this for the bottom legs that go uh, down here. But we're only going to do five sections. So starting with that guy is one. Next two. Five. So it's five sections. We're gonna grab this bottom rubber band, the last rubber band on the bottom of the side, pull it off, and then we are going to pull this leg up on there, and then reattach the rubber band to that bottom peg. All right. We want this dog to have four legs, so we're gonna go ahead and. Do one more. If you want to do a dog with only three legs and call it lucky, you, you're more than welcome to do that. But I'm going to do a dog with four legs. I'm going to do a little, cute little puppy with four legs. So one, two. This makes three. section for this leg, section number five, goes like that, grab that opposite side bottom rubber band, pull it up off that bottom hook, or that bottom pin post, and uh, slide your leg up on there, and then reattach the rubber bands to that bottom post. So we got our four legs on there, and then the final, we got to put the final horizontal band here. So I'm going to take a rubber band, a single rubber band. And I'm gonna wrap it around on itself and stretch it across there like that. So I'm gonna turn the whole room sideways so you can see everything and uh, let you compare your work to what you see here. Okay, now we're ready to start looping. Um, we're gonna loop from the bottom uh, going to the top. And uh, there's a, it's pretty much like looping anything else, except when we get to the legs and the nose and the eyes and the ears, we're gonna have to do uh, something a little bit different than what you've probably done before, uh, which is running our, our hook up through um, 
some of the pieces, so that, that'll allow them to still move freely. But otherwise, it's just like you would normally do. So we're gonna start with this bottom center one. We're gonna hook that guy, take him up to this next peg up. So it's this peg to this peg. Um, and then for the next one, reach down and grab the next set of bottom. Pick those up. And we've got that bottom center one locked in there pretty good now. So he's not gonna pop off easily on us. Now we're gonna do our first leg, or well, you know, we'll just go ahead and finish the center. Just work the center all the way up to the neck. Taking them off, working them off the uh, peg, and getting them onto the next peg up. So, and then this last one going up to the neck. Like so. All right, now we're gonna do the sides. I'm gonna turn this a little bit, it's a little easier for me to do. When we do the, the legs, <clears throat> We gotta run the hook through the legs before we grab our rubber bands and pull them up. What this is gonna do is allow the rubber bands going up to be, or the leg to be around those, so it'll still move freely. Um, uh, so it'll allow those legs to move freely. Uh, we're gonna run the hook through the loops on the legs. And then we're gonna go down in here. We're gonna dig down and grab the bottom two rubber bands. Now. Actually, before I go any further, I want to show you something here. A little trick I learned as you go, you want to make sure the rubber bands that are coming from the top, the ones you want to grab, are the two that are on the bottom. So you hear this side rubber bands pinching uh, those bottom rubber bands. So I'm going to separate those guys, push them, push the bottom ones all the way down. It's going to make it easier for me, if you can see that there. I'm pushing the bottom rubber bands all down. It's going to make it easier for me to, to hook those guys as I'm going. So, mm -hmm. take the hook, run it through the legs. I'm going to reach down in here and grab the two bottom rubber bands. Just grab the two bottom ones, digging down, pulling those guys up, and work them off of the peg. Pull them through the leg, and then hook them onto. So pull them through the leg and then hook them onto that peg uh, on top. So if you've done it correctly, the uh, loops for the legs should be free and the legs should be able to move, move pretty freely. Do that guy. And then we're going to work this peg up to here. Same thing, you know, make sure you just grab the bottom two rubber bands. Separate those guys out a little bit. Reach in there, grab those two the guys, pull them up and hook them to the next, next peg up. And then uh, we get to the front leg. Same thing as with the bottom leg. Let's get these two bottom rubber bands real low. Push everything up high out of the way. We're going to go between, go under the legs, down into here, grabbing the bottom two rubber bands, as you can see. Pull those guys up, work them off the peg, and then pull them up and loop them onto, so I'm working them off the leg and I'm going to pull them up and loop them onto this top peg. So that's how I did that. And that leg should be nice and loose and easy to move around all that. Then repeat the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to make sure the bottom rubber bands are down real low. Go through the leg. Dig down, grab the bottom two rubber bands. Up, work them off of the peg, and then connect them to the top. Now, if we do that correctly, our bottom leg should be able to be moved around a little bit. So, uh, next peg, so next one up, make sure we got our rubber bands on the bottom. Dig down, grab the bottom two rubber bands. Pull them up and connect them to the next peg up. And then the last <clears throat> on the side, the uh, last leg we gotta work with, come between the legs, dig them down, grab the bottom two rubber bands, pull them up, work them off of this peg. So, um, 
pause for a second so you can pair. You got loops from here up, from here up, from here up, you know, all the way up to the neck. So if you want to take a look, uh, the last, really the last thing to finish the body out is just looping the shoulder section, uh, taking them from this peg up to the center, and then from this peg up to the center. So go down and grab that one, loop it up to the center. Same thing with this one. Grab that guy, pull it up, and loop it onto the center. So that's how you do the looping for the body with the legs. Uh, take a look uh, for a second if you want and compare your work to what you see here. Okay, moving ahead. Next step is to loop the neck up. Um, remember we put three rubber bands on here. So this is going to be the hardest one to pull up. It's a really, really tight section. Lots, lots of stuff on this one peg. Uh, just take your time. Be patient. Work the rubber band slowly. Um, and then uh, loop them up on there if you can. Keep the hook of your, your, your hook facing up. Uh, your rubber bands are less likely to slip off. So uh, we got three rubber bands at the very bottom. We're going to dig down in here and grab those three rubber bands. Pull them up. Make sure we're just grabbing three. I think I may have grabbed more than three. Let's see. Reach down anyhow. Do, do, do. Grab our three rubber bands. Dig down, pull them up. And these are going to be tight, three rubber bands. And slowly just kind of work them off the peg either side. And then work them up and onto that center peg. Should have that teardrop shape um, with all of these going up. These two bottom sections, the teardrop shape doesn't look so teardropish, but um, that's why I think more to do with the legs being on here. But you can see the teardrop shape, so you know you're doing your work correctly. All right, for the jaw, next set is for the jaw. We've got uh, these two coming from the sides. You want to find the one that's on top. In this uh, instance, I believe it's this guy on the right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the hook down through here. And uh, to make sure I just grab those two rubber bands, I'm going to kind of loop it through the side and grab and pull those two rubber bands up. If I'm doing this correctly and those are the ones on the top, I should get that teardrop shape when I loop that on there. So that's the right side. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the opposite side. Reach down in there and grab just those two. And uh, pull them up. Work them over and onto this peg. So I've done the two sides. Now before we go forward and do the center section um, from the jaw up to about where the nose is, we want to get ourselves a little red rubber band. And this is going to be the, the tongue or the mouth section. We're going to loop it over the hook twice. So just double it over on itself. And then we're going to reach down in here and grab the center rubber band and work it up. And once we've got it up and off that bottom peg, I want to pull these two rubber bands down onto the white rubber band and then hook it to the center peg above. So you should have a couple red rubber bands just, just uh, hanging out right there on that section of the looped white rubber band. So if you can see what that looks like. All right, from here up on the sides, um, it's pretty straightforward until we get to the ears. So I'm gonna do each of the sides and then we'll do the center section. So on the sides, it's just grabbing the bottom two rubber bands and uh, pulling them up and hooking them up onto the top one. Making sure you're just grabbing the bottom two rubber bands. You don't want to grab the side, the, the horizontal rubber bands. Just the bottom two that were coming from the peg above down. Pull those up. Teardrop shape means I must be doing it correctly. So down in here, grab these two, work them off. Up onto the peg. Above. And then, uh, and then we get to the ear. So I did those three sections, and then we're to the ear. We're gonna do the ears the same way we did the um, the legs. We're gonna run our hook through the ears, through all these rubber bands on the ears. I find it's easier sometimes if I push it, put it on its side. Take your patient or take time, be patient with this. Work the hook all the way through. 
you should see it goes through all the rubber bands. And then, um, and then we're going to dig down and grab the bottom two rubber bands, pull them up, work them off of the post, and then uh, pull them up through the ear. So you should have those two rubber bands into that top peg. So that's one side completed. All right. Next side, uh, same as the other side, just working from the bottom up. I'm going to grab these two rubber bands on the bottom, pull them up to the peg just above it. I'm making sure we dig down and grab um, the bottom two rubber bands. And you'll know you've done it correctly because you've got that teardrop shape. So, grab these two, run them up. Two up and then our second ear same thing take your time work the hook through all the rubber bands for the ear and then uh, dig down and grab the bottom two rubber bands pull them up and work them off either side be patient be careful um, you know, these are tight there's a lot of rubber bands a lot going on here um, just take your time, be patient, and understand, you know, with a, some of this is, can be a little more complex, a little more difficult. So, uh, finish it off and making sure your ear looks like it should with the pink in the middle. Got the ears. So, give you an idea how much stress we're putting on this. Um, I don't know if you can see there's a little stress mark on this hook just from pulling some of these bigger rubber bands. So, now, all right, next section. We've already done this up, so we're going to finish the center. And then uh, we'll take a look at it and let you compare your loom to this loom. And then we'll pull it off and then we'll show you the final details. So uh, we've done this one up, this up. So we got to work from here up. Before we pull this rubber band through, I'm, I'm going to pull the nose up and kind of go in between it here. Pull it up and down, I guess a little bit, uh, before I reach down in here and grab the bottom two rubber bands. Oops. Making sure I grab the bottom two rubber bands. That was just one. I'm going to reach in here and pull this guy's foot down. Okay. Reach down in here. <clears throat> the bottom two rubber bands. Work them off this peg. And up. Next section, reach down, bottom two rubber bands. Up. Do the same thing with the eyes that we did with the, the nose. We're going to grab this white, the white rubber band that's crossed over there. And we're going to go between it, reach down, and grab the two bottom rubber bands. And then uh, pull them up. And work them off of this peg and up to the top peg. So, those two guys there. So we've done the sides all the way up through the ears, the center all the way up to, uh, to the center, this center peg. All the way up left are to connect these uh, top two down to the center peg. We're kind of doing the, the look of the face we want. <clears throat> so I'm gonna reach down here and grab the bottom two rubber bands, pull them off, connect them to the center peg here. Same thing with this side. Reach down, grab the bottom two rubber bands, work them off, and onto this center peg. So, I'm gonna turn this sideways so you can see the whole product. We've got our four legs on here, on the rubber bands, they can move. Our mouth section, our nose, our eyes, the ears, everything's looped all the way up. Uh, this might be a good moment to pause and compare your work to this. All right, next we are going to uh, prepare to pull this off. Uh, we got to tie it all together with the center section right here. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, run our hook down through here and connect a, a single rubber band to the hook. Let's stand this up so you can see what I'm doing. 
connect a single rubber band to the hook and pull it through all of that. Get that on there. Pull it around. Up. So I've got a single rubber band pulled through um, all those rubber bands. And then we're going to use a C clip to secure it. C clip is on there. Rubber band secured through all those other rubber bands. Now, the next part is just looping, pulling it all off. So, I'm going to start by uh, getting the ears off here with using my hook. Work those guys off this uh, peg here. Work this section off this peg. And then I'm going to work the center section off and reach, reach down with this guy and kind of move it around and work it off. And then I'm going to unhook my hook set it aside and just start kind of pulling up on these and gently start to pull them all off. Again, take your time. Don't get in a rush. Be patient. And slowly work the head off. Uh, we get the neck, pull the neck off. And then uh, shoulders. Pulling these all off. And then uh, should get the whole thing off and should be having pretty close to what looks like the Westie. Um, so should have that guy. You can set your loom aside and then um, you set that down. You can compare what you got to what you see here. And then I'll start showing you how to add all the extra pieces here in a second. Okay, so getting back to this, we're going to finish this out. Um, what we what we need to do is, is add the uh, the hair that go on the nose and some hair across the eyes. And then if you turn this over and look at it, you can see we can see the back of the ears and the, and the eyes. Um, to give you an idea of what we're going to do is we're going to add. So this is the finished product. We're going we're to add uh, the hair. And then uh, we're going to put some stuff on the back to hide the eyes in the back and add a little tail. So, um, there, Westy. First thing I want to do, I'm going to go ahead and do the, the back of the head and the tail, and then we'll add these whiskers. So the back of the head was pretty, um, it's pretty straightforward. I'm going to run the hook through a couple of these loops in the ear towards the back. Yeah. You can see what I'm doing, if the camera will focus. Okay, so I'm gonna run it through a couple loops on the back of the ear. And then I'm gonna just take one, um, I'm gonna grab one of these smaller ones, grab one um, rubber band of the fur color and pull it through and loop it onto the hook like that. And then I'm going to work again in groups of two, uh, two rubber bands, pull those both through. I'm going to do this twice. So, to one section, and then the second. So, there's two. And then, what I want to do is take this top section and hook it into the C clip, which is spun around and kind of funny. Pull C clip down. Top section is a C clip, bottom section down here. If you've got an extra loop or something, it's a good idea, or an extra hook, so that you can loop through that. It's not a bad idea to, to stick loop those over something so they don't pull back through. So we're going to do the same thing on the other side, and then I'm going to show you how we connect the bottoms um, going up. So, same thing, one rubber band. We're going to take a hook, run it behind the ear. Through a couple of these loops, pull with that one rubber band um, through, loop it, and then we're going to grab a couple more two rubber bands, pull them through, and then uh, two 
the Mar River Bands. Pull them through. And then we want to take the top and hook them into the C-clip. clip out and hook the top two to the C clip. Alright. So we got that. Now I'm going to uh, take the hook. I'm going to unloop these bottom two. I hope that's all in focus and I'm not too close. Okay. So I got the C clip, the top sections of those clip to the C-clip, and then I just got the bottom loops from either side that I'm holding loose. I'm going to take the hook and I'm going to work it under the back of uh, the head down here on a couple of the bottom loops all the way through and, and loop, finally loop through the, the two bottom loops that were on this other side. So it should start looking something like, like that. You can see. Kind of loop it in there. And then I'm going to take a single rubber band pull it through all of this. Loop it under the hook. So I got a single rubber band. Just take another single rubber band. So now I've got those kind of sewn together there. I'm going to take this uh, second single loop that I did from the bottom up and hook it into the C-clip as well. And that should finish off the back section of the head. So now if you look at the back of it, you can see it's, uh, you can't see the eyes, and it gives it some, some shape. There's the front and the back. Now for the tail, uh, we're gonna come down here to the back of this guy, and we're gonna start with one rubber band. We're going to find a spot down here that we wanna hook it to, probably one of these lower rubber bands. We're going to pull that single rubber band through there. And then we are going to loop it through itself. Take my rubber band and take the bottom up through the top. Loop it through itself and pull it and it should create like a little knot. So it's actually tied on there now. So got that guy on there. And then the next part is just going to be taking a couple white rubber bands, looping them three times around the, the hook. So I got two rubber bands I'm going to loop three times. I'm going to slide them down onto this guy. One, two. And then I'm going to take a uh, third rubber band, or a fourth rubber band really. Kind of go between like that. And I'm just going to tie it in a knot. Probably not the best way to tie this off, um, but it's, um, it'll have enough loop going on here that, um, or enough, enough of the rubber band at the, at the base of the, the, the two that we just slipped up on there won't slide off. So I'm actually just tie that guy to itself. <laughs> if I can actually tie it to itself. Somebody's probably got an easier way of doing this or a better way. I'm uh, open to learning. So, tying that in a little knot. There's going to be quite a bit at the top there. You see those rubber bands won't be able to fall off. If you look at that, they won't fall off. Uh, let's see if the camera will get in focus. There you go. So, knots won't fall off. 
I'm going to take a pair of scissors, and this last one that I tied to itself, it's got these two big loops. I'm just going to cut those guys so they look stringy like fur. And those, those guys won't fall off. So the tail is on there now. Now all we need to do is add some uh, fur to the face, and then we'll be done. So what I'm going to do is pull the nose out a little bit, do it at the depth I want it to have. Two rubber bands. I'm going to run my hook through. There's a loop that goes to the black part of the nose. I'm going to run my hook through that loop and then pull two rubber bands through it. So if you see, it's kind of looped like that. And then to cut either end of them. Now, yeah, I'm cutting these. They're not really kind of tied in there. If somebody grabs them, pulls on them, they'll pull them out. They're, they're easy to replace. And they're easy to add. Um, and it, it adds that texture when you get them in there and get them work, worked around properly. Uh, it's going to add that texture you want for the, the face part of the, of the puppy. And then we're going to move up here and add um, some loose hair that comes across the face. Uh, pretty typical of a Westie. So, uh, again, I'm going to grab uh, two rubber bands. I'm going to come up here to a section of loop above this. This is this little X-looking part. Let me get down here where you can be in focus. This little X-looking part right here is that loose rubber band we added when we put the eyes on. I'm going to go above those into a, a loop that's above those. And pull two rubber bands through. Okay, so I'm gonna pull those through. It's like what I did on the bottom. On these guys, instead of cutting both sides, I'm just gonna cut one side of the rubber bands. And I'm gonna carefully make sure I'm grabbing the ends of two different rubber bands here. Pull. So I'm going to grab carefully grab the ends of two of these rubber bands here, and, and then pull on the loop part, and get it so I have a, a loose end on either end. Once that's done, um, it's just a matter of working these guys around so that they look like the loose hair on a. These hairs on the face, the hair on the nose, and take our Westy and bend its paws, move its legs forward, slide them around to the front. Take the back paws and move them out to the side. When you do this, sometimes you have to kind of reach around and grab these rubber bands and pull them, but you'll see you'll be able to get them so that they're sticking out. This the front. Now we do the same thing with the head. The head right now is perfectly in line with the body. I'm going to bend it back a little bit and find these, this loop that's going down for the neck of the three rubber bands. Grab it, pinch it, and then slide, slide it to the next bent a little bit. And then that will allow us to take our little Westy and position it the way we want it to be positioned. So that concludes the uh, instructions on how to do this. Um, you can see the Westie turned out pretty good. <laughs> Little tail and all. And uh, yeah, please uh, leave it in the comments if you want to. If you see a way of doing things better or have any questions, let me know. Thank you.